Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Alpha, Omega, Ancient of Days, Daddy, I give you praise. Lord, I want to thank you for your faithfulness. I want to thank you. I want to thank you for your power, for your glory. I thank you. For your mercy, I thank you. And I ask, O oh Lord God Almighty, for all that we are going to do today as we call upon your glorious name, eternal rock of ages, beginning and the end. Come and take preeminence. Come and take control. In the name of Jesus Christ. Daddy, let your will be done on this holy mountain. I beseech you, ancient of days. I beseech you, Alpha Omega. I beseech you, beginning and the end. Let your power be seen. Let your glory be seen. Let your power be seen. Let your glory be seen. Lord, move on this holy mountain in the name of Jesus Christ. Adonai, beginning and the end. Rebuke, O oh Lord, rebuke, O oh Lord, rebuke. Daddy, rebuke the devourer, O oh Lord, in Jesus' name, in any and every area. Only that which you have intended, even before the foundations of the earth were laid. Only that, O oh God, let it take place, let it take place, let it take preeminence in our life, in the name of Jesus Christ. Upon this holy mountain, faith clinic and healing atmosphere, I reveal your name, Jehovah, Jehovah, Jehovah. I reveal your name, Yahweh, Yahweh, Yahweh. In the name of Jesus, Jesus, Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus, Jesus, Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name, eternal rock of ages, beginning and the end. Do what you alone can do. Honor and glorify your name. Acknowledge, O God, every prayer that will be prayed today. Rebuke the devourer, O Lord. And let every man testify on this mountain that you are Lord. That there is none like unto you. That you are Lord in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, O God, for your blessings. Thank you. Thank you, O God, for your power. Thank you. Thank you, O Lord, for your glory. Thank you. Thank you for all you're said to do that no man can hinder on this mountain. Thank you for the spirit of restoration and thank you, O oh God, for your judgment that is free and fair. Thank you, Daddy. Do what you alone can do today and let your name alone be honored and glorified. I give you praise with thanksgiving. I give you praise. I give you praise with thanksgiving. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Do what you alone can do. Adonai. Honor and glorify your name. Let your will alone be done in the name of Jesus Christ. Faithful God, I beseech you. Faithful God. Faithful God, I beseech you. Faithful God, take your place, O Lord, and have your way. In Jesus' name I've decreed. Amen. Praise God. Praise God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I want to thank God for every man of God. I want to thank God. For every woman of God, I want to thank God. For everyone that the Lord has commanded to be on this holy mountain at this point in time, I thank God for you. Now, God is about to do something very remarkable on this broadcast. The Lord has sent me uniquely and specially to somebody. And I believe that that person that God has sent me to, that will not miss this broadcast. I believe that that person in Jesus' name, the fulfillment of God's purpose in your life, the fulfillment of his plan, must surely come to pass as he has intended even before the foundations of the earth were laid. In the name of Jesus Christ. Please, man of God, woman of God, wherever you may be, pay attention to what God is about to do because I know God loves you. And I know the blessings of God is upon you greatly. And I know that God, who had begun the great work in your life, will accomplish will have the name of Jesus Christ. So wherever you may be, man of God, wherever. Wherever you may be, woman of God, wherever. Get set to praise the Lord with me in Jesus' name. Somebody under the sound of my voice, I am happy to revise in the ears of as many that would like to hear it over and over again. That the presence of God and the power of God is here to bless and to lift up. So I'm going to start with our usual PPP. What does that mean? I'm going to start with our praise. And then from praise we'll go into preaching. And from preaching by the grace of God we'll go into prayer. So wherever you may be, man of God, woman of God, get set. It's time for us to praise God. And I have this unique song which is not new on this mountain. I have this unique song for somebody that the Lord has sent me to play this song specifically because he's bringing you to this mountain, okay? So the song says, stop crying. That's where we are going, okay? If you are in tears, if you have been crying before now, your tears, my God, is going to wipe away in the name of Jesus Christ. So it's not a new song to us, but it is powerful. God is sending the song because of somebody on this holy mountain. So wherever you may be, Man of God, woman of God, focus on what God will do today. Stop crying. 
the love of God is upon your life. Hallelujah. He's a faithful God. He's the same God who oh, was there for you in the midnight hour. He's a faithful God. He's the same God who oh, 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 is able to wipe his away. away. He's the same God yeah. who oh, was there in time of life. He's the same God who is 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 the Tell me why you're giving up on him. Oh, tell me why you're giving up on God. Oh, hold on. Changes on the way. A baby now. Stop crying, crying. God is in control. What is the problem? You know God will not tarry. Hey, in love. I say, hold on to your feet. I say, wipe away your tears, God will not lie. Oh, 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 oh. Hey, hey, it is well. Somebody say with me, it is well with my soul. Hey, hold, weep in me, for the night. Christ gonna come in the morning. Oh, you don't have to cry no more. Oh, God, by His word, He's gonna do what He says. Somebody join me and say, Hey, busy now. Stop crying, crying. God is in control. What is the problem? You know God will not tarry. Oh, beloved. Hold on to your faith. Wipe away your tears. God will not die. Oh, 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 oh. Stop crying, crying. Hey, God is in control. What is the problem? You know God will not tarry. Beloved, hold on to your faith. Wipe away your tears. God will not die. Yeah, oh, oh, oh. It is well. Somebody say it is well with my soul. I know you've been crying. Oh, I, I know you've been wounded, oh, but it's okay. Yeah, we, I know you've been broken, but eh, I'm eh, 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 too, too many, many are broken hearted. Believe in me, oh, God, oh, God, oh, oh. Yeah, I'm the God of all flesh. Nothing is too hard for me, me to says the Lord. I come the sea, I raise the dead. Jehovah says nothing that he cannot do. Oh, 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 oh. One, two, say, baby, now. Stop crying, crying. God is in control. What is the problem? You know God will not tarry, beloved. Hold on to your faith. Wipe away your tears, God will not lie. Oh, stop crying, crying. Oh, God is in control. What is the problem? You know God will not tarry, beloved. Hold on to your faith, wipe the way your cheese God will not lie. Hey, it is well. Thank you, Jesus. It must be well with your soul. In the name of Jesus Christ. If you believe in the power of the prophetic, then let us start today because today. The Lord has granted us the grace to prophesy or to release judgment on his behalf. Today, the power of the prophetic to release judgment on his behalf, that is the anointing for today. God has sent me to somebody that he wants to use your mortal lips. He wants to use you to release a word of prophecy, to release judgment, judgment that powers will know that it is God echoing through you. So, somebody, wherever you may be, let's start in a, on a very softer note. As we start to prophesy, it is well with my soul. 
God punish the devil. Punish, punish, punish. Somebody let us start by saying it is well. It is well with your soul. It is well with my soul. It is well with our soul. It is well with our soul. It is well with your soul. It is well with my soul. Somebody join me wherever you may be. So join me right now as we put in prayer, put in prayer, prayer, put in prayer, prayer, prayer. La ke telimo sikaba. Ora baba ende likato. Robra ke telimo sikaba talie. Jake libra telie. Inga gagaga. La brokoso. Luka delimo sikaba. Jake leba talie. It is well, it is well, it is well with my soul it is well it is well it is well with your soul it is well with our soul somebody echo in jesus name man to so kayaba man dele ke dele i brako so katalie rabba katali mo so katalie i jan deleba it is well whether and anyone agrees with it or not it is well that's how we are starting today the lord is using your mouth as a mouthpiece god is using your mouth as his mouthpiece to readdress certain things in your life to readdress certain things in my life in our life god is using our mouth to readdress situation and circumstances beyond what the human mind can comprehend in the name of jesus christ it is well it is well it is well it is well manga gaga gaga ga la gada la gaba jege delibo sikatali it is well libra koso mon kandali etelio ora bagado ni makosi jege baro telimo sikaba it is well it is well it is well with your soul man of god it is well with my soul it is well with our soul god punish the devil punish 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 manga talabosi manga talabosi kaya bateli man talagabosi ka e breke le bateli e breke le bateli it is well it is well with your soul with my soul with our soul in the name of jesus christ somebody join me and say oh lord release judgment consigning my life Oh Lord, release judgment concerning the life of my family. Oh Lord, release judgment concerning my household. Somebody, it is time. God wants to release judgment. Everyone that is standing in opposition, everyone that is trying to kick against what the Lord is about to do, the Holy Ghost fire scatter, the Holy Ghost fire destroy. Holy Ghost fire scatter, Holy Ghost fire destroy. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Lord wants to speak. The Lord wants to speak through you. Are you a yielding vessel? Because a lot of people, they resist when the spirit wants to flow when the spirit want to move i pray that today you will yield you will yield 100 percent in the spirit oh lord the final judgment oh lord the final judgment use oh god use me use me oh god to your glory and release the final judgment who is that person disturbed about your about your children your son your daughter who is that person disturbed about you know your marital status who is that person disturbed about business who is that person disturbed about any form of aspect of life why not tell the lord today through my mortal lips today through my mortal lips release the final judgment may i say that today is thursday and by the grace of god we are praying with a bottle of water so if you are just joining us get your bottle of water ready and type the word ready in the name of jesus christ Makatoso, put in prayer put in prayer prayer in the name of jesus christ let me quickly observe that no one is disturbing you or focusing on you make sure you focus on what god has brought you on the mountain to focus on because at the end of the day god is judging you god is judging me and god is judging the house and today he wants to bring complete and thorough judgment over any ruling over any ruling over any verdict that is not in harmony with his deep thoughts remember that we were praying about deep thoughts bible said that god i stand to be corrected very deep thoughts god has very deep Thoughts. His thoughts towards us are very deep. That's what he says. The thoughts are very deep. So anything that wants to go against the very deep thoughts of God for you and me, the Lord is releasing a final judgment over it today. 
final judgment. It cannot and will not be overturned. You want to share the broadcast on your wall. You want to share in a group. You want to share, share, share and win a soul. The final judgment is what God is bringing in the name of Jesus Christ. Final judgment. So are you under the sound of my voice? You had a dream and you know quite well that that dream is representing some negativities and some positivities. So you want to ask God for final judgment. The final judgment is that the positive one will be exactly how God has intended and the negative one, the power of the Holy Spirit will avert it. The power of the Holy Spirit will avert it, will avert it, will lift up a standard against it. Somebody type the word final judgment. As you're praying today, as I'm praying today, as we are praying today, oh Lord, through our mortal lips, establish final judgment, establish final judgment, establish final judgment. Final judgment, oh Lord, establish final judgment. Oh Lord, establish. Final judgment. We'll be seed you ancient of this final judgment oh lord establish final judgment will be seed you in the name of jesus christ right on this mountain declare in the name of jesus christ final judgment that's what we are asking for final judgment by the fire of the Holy Ghost, by the power of the Holy Ghost, by the fire of the Holy Ghost, by the finger of God, final judgment in the name of Jesus Christ. Nekayo bali ketelie, nekayo bali ketelie, ribando so kayaba, urababa lekatale gadeli, makarabatoso, urababa delike, urababa delike telie, urababa delike, makro so katali bantali, jegedeli musikaba, final judgment. The final judgment over that evil dream, final judgment over that negative prophecy, final judgment over that spirit of stagnation, final judgment over that spirit that has come to steal, to kill, to destroy, final judgment in the name of Jesus Christ. Who is that person they've shown that somebody is going to die? You want God to have the final say. The question is who is going to have the final say? Who is going to have the final say? Who will have the final say? The final judgment is what we are asking the Lord to come and do right now in the name of Jesus Christ, in our life, in our, in our life, in our finances. Who is that person disturbed about certain things like finances, like, you know, like the next level, like the things God wants to do? The final judgment is coming today and I pray that you will yield yourself unto the Lord in the name of Jesus Christ. Somebody join me, type the word, arrest, O Lord, arrest. Arrest, O oh Lord, arrest. Anything that wants to steal, anything that wants to kill, anything that wants to destroy, Holy Spirit, arrest. Somebody join me. Holy Spirit, arrest. Anything, everything, anything, everything, every power that wants to kill, steal, destroy, Holy Spirit, arrest. Please join me as we ask the Holy Spirit to arrest everything that is working contrary to the will of God. Everything that is working contrary to the will of God. Holy Spirit, arrest. In the name of Jesus. Jesus Christ. Are there certain things taking place in your life that you know they are not following the usual pattern? Is there any pattern in your life that is not going according to? Any pattern not going according to plan? Every pattern, any pattern not going according to plan? In Jesus name, Holy Spirit of God. Zakele Mosi Kayabateli. Holy Ghost fire. Holy Ghost power. Holy Ghost fire power. Anything, everything that is not going according to plan. Oh Lord, uproot. Oh Lord, scatter. Oh Lord, uproot. Oh Lord, scatter. Oh Lord, uproot, scatter. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. If you're under the sound of my voice in Jesus' name, any form of fear. Any form of every form of fear, the power of God uproot, the power of God destroy in the name of Jesus Christ. Because the scripture is clear about that, He said He has not given us the spirit of fear, He has not given you, He's not given me, He's not given us the spirit of fear in the name of Jesus Christ. He has not given you the power to fear, 
You don't have that power. You have the power to believe him over and over again. In the name of Jesus Christ. Arrest every foul play. Arrest every form of manifestation that is not in conformity to the will of God. In the name of Jesus Christ. Every wrong confession for some people, they just speak. They speak and speak and speak. And by unknown to them, they have said what they should not say. Oh Lord, arrest every statement that has gone out that is not your intention for me to say. So we are praying for any negative confession, any negative pronouncement, okay? So no negativity. This season, you want to be very careful. Don't say what God did not send you. Don't say in Jesus' name. But if you should say anything that you know it is contrary to the will of God for you, you want to plead the blood of Jesus instantly. Plead the blood of Jesus instantly so that that blood of Jesus will have the final verdict. So that the blood of Jesus will have the what? The final verdict. The final verdict. In the name of Jesus Christ. Holy Ghost fire. Holy Ghost power. Holy Ghost fire. Power. Holy Ghost power. Fire. Holy Ghost take preeminence. Take control. In the name of Jesus Christ. On this holy mountain. Jikadalagaba. Regedelegedeleba. Makatosokaba. Upalima epalimosi. De greke limatoso. Orababababa. Jagedelemo. Somebody get your bottle of water ready and type the word ready. Wherever you may be. In the name of Jesus Christ. Get your bottle of water ready. Type the word ready. For the power of God is here. In the name of Jesus Christ. So somebody join me and say, arrest and restore. That is the code for today. Somebody, everything that has been stolen from you, everything that has been stolen from your household, everything that has been stolen from your life, the Lord is reassuring me and you here and now that there will be what? There will be an arrest. God is going to arrest that spirit. God is going to arrest that power and restoration is going to take place. He it said he's going to arrest and he will restore. Every year that the canker worm and the caterpillar has eaten, he said he's going to arrest, he's going to restore. So somebody join me. Any pronouncement you have made out, out of the plan and provision of God, you want to join me and say, Lord, arrest. Lord, restore. Lord, arrest. Lord, restore. Lord, arrest. Lord, restore. Join me in Jesus' name. Jacobo Zikatali, Michele Bartoso, Orababa, arrest and restore in the name of Jesus Christ. Arrest and restore in the name of Jesus Christ. Arrest and restore. Lekatoso, O Kariba, Ebalimos Zikatali, arrest and restore in the name of Jesus. Arrest and restore. Everyone that is always having you know, those signs, those signs of failure, those signs of pain, those signs of setback, all those signs, the Lord arrested now. Those signs, the Lord arrested now. Every thief that have been sent to kill, to steal, to destroy, Holy Ghost arrest, no matter how they disguise themselves, no matter how they disguise themselves. Micah said that sometimes, the very enemy of somebody is the member of his household. That's what Micah says. Okay? That's what Micah says. But it is not your job and my job to find out who exactly is the true enemy or who is not the true enemy. Your job and my job is to seek first the kingdom of God wholeheartedly and all his righteousness. And Bible that says all things shall be added, I believe. I believe and I know everyone in the spirit will believe with me that Indeed, all things will be added in Jesus' name. All things will be added, and that's the part of the restoration. All things will be added, and that's the part of restoration. All things will be added, and that's the part of restoration. In Jesus' name, I see restoration taking place in the life of everyone praying with the apostle today. Restoration vehemently. A vision was shown to me, and this vision, the Lord started to explain that there is somebody that will be coming to the mountain, that those things that have been taken away from you, he has brought them back again. Again, that power came to steal, as usual. Came to steal, to destroy. 
But this time, that spirit will be restored. The spirit came in a subtle way, in a deceitful way as usual, to pick up that supply that had been brought. But the joy in that vision is that the, the Holy Spirit prompted this person, prompted this person, and straight away, that particular spirit was, was arrested. And what was stolen was taken back and restored to the one that the Lord is talking about. If you are that person under the sound of my voice, I want you to rejoice because you can't run away. You can't run away from the restoration of God. Everything that you have worked for, whether five years, whether 10 years, whether you know 20 years, everything you've ever worked for, everything you've ever labored for, that in your subconscious you think you have lost, the Lord is saying he's going to bring back to you. He will restore back to you. Good measure, press down shaking together and running over hebrew chapter 10 36 hebrew 10 36 says that you have need of patience that after doing the will of god after doing so some people they don't wait to do the will of god but they want you know the promise of god to catch up with them but bible say no 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 no. bible say that after you have done the will of god and this is where a lot of people fail because a lot of people don't want to do the will of god they say let him bless me first then i'll do his will unknown to them that when the blessing comes then the temptation also comes with it he comes with it straight away but after doing the will of god after doing the will of god as the holy spirit made me to emphasize on luke chapter 5 verse 11 Luke chapter 5 verse 11 that yes truly through the night Peter and those other fishermen were toiling through the night so you could you could tell that they really wanted or they were in need of success but the truth is that they are patient they were patient for the success that will come from God a lot of people are not patient for the success that will come from God. The truth is that one success that will come from God will swallow all the human success you would have gathered put together. One success from God, it will swallow all the success you would have had as a human being working day and night tirelessly. Let's learn from, let's learn from the life of Peter and the other fishermen that were working throughout the night. Throughout the night. But Jesus came in Luke chapter 5 and he said, give me your boat. I want to preach. And they gave the boat. After that, Jesus said, now, let down your net. What interests me, and I will always emphasize as long as I'm a man of God and God gives me grace to speak, is that they showed that the interest they have for God is more than the interest for success. And this is where a lot of Christians meets it. Because if you check the life of a Christian very well, immediately they are successful. They don't have time for God anymore. Immediately they taste raw and powerful success. They don't have time for God anymore. They become too posh for God to even catch up with. In fact, God sometimes might need to fill a form before he can have audience with them. But what marveled me so much is that look at success that was that was yearned for. I mean, the hunger and thirsted after this success. Now the success is right before them. And these men walked away and left it. Two sheep filled with fish to the brim. They walked away. They left it. Luke chapter of Luke chapter 5, verse 11. They walked away and followed Jesus. It was after they were through with Jesus, they came back. They came back. If you are like that under the sound of my voice, Hebrew chapter 10, verse 36. Bible says you have need of patience. Patience. You need to be patient. That after doing the will of God, you might receive the promise thereof. A lot of people have received, but they did not receive promise. Abraham waited for the promise initially as human being thank god that the life of our father abraham is balanced initially himself and sarah did not wait for the promise and so they cut the corner and that's how ishmael came but the lord came back in in the other verses to ensure him that listen i promised you i was going to give you a son that son i promise you his name is isaac and it is sarah god is very specific it is sarah that will produce that promise for you although the lord did not get angry with our father abraham but the lord say i don't need your help i don't need your help and the lord said i will give a son those days there was nothing to scan whether it was a man child or a woman child there is no how anybody would have known god said i will give a son call his name isaac and god made it clear i don't need you to help me Somebody under the sound of my voice, 
if only you are patient enough, if only we are patient enough, God doesn't need you. God doesn't need me. God doesn't need us. He will give us the promise. He will give us the promise. He will give us the promise. And some people would have thought of it that when the promise comes, are you sure the promise will not be stolen? If you have this kind of mind, then you, you don't understand the workings of God. Those men walked away from the two sheep filled with fishes. They walked away and followed Jesus. Why would somebody have thought of it that wouldn't people steal from the fish? Wouldn't people hijack the sheep? They didn't bother about that. Somebody, once God blesses you, nobody can curse you. The blessings of God, like Bible made us to know, it is irrevocable. The gift and the calling of God is without repentance. Except God doesn't bless you. Somebody under the sound of God, is there anybody God made to grow and has gone taller? Then something now happened. You see yourself reduced back to a baby. Has that ever happened? The only thing myself and you need to do is to qualify for God to make us grow. Because once you grow, you can never grow down. The book of Jeremiah said we don't grow down, we grow up. The trees don't grow down, they grow up. Nature obey that law. Even the plants around us, they don't grow down, they grow up. Who are you to grow down? Who are you to grow down? So if you're patient and my God blesses you, you could never reduce from that level of, of blessing. The only thing is that, will you convince God that you're qualified for more blessing? And how would you convince God? By seeking first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. They left the two sheep and followed Jesus. They left the two sheep and followed Jesus. This is how to qualify. They left the two sheep and followed Jesus. When you do that, when you seek first the kingdom and his righteousness, all other things shall be added. Somebody under the sound of my voice, as the Lord is adding to you, you will not stop seeking the kingdom of God. You will not stop seeking because the promise is renewed by you putting your hand on the plow. Bible says that he that puts his hand on the plow and look back is not fit for the kingdom. You are qualified to keep receiving from God, to keep receiving from the spirit. You are qualified to enjoy the promise, continue to live in the promise if you will not take off your hand from the plow. If you will not take off your hand from the plow, if you will not stop seeking God in spirit and in truth, oh Lord, empower me to seek you in spirit and in truth. Today, there are certain people coming to this mountain. What God gave to you was stolen. But the Lord say that spirit that has stolen, that man that has stolen, that person that has stolen from you will be arrested. And what was taken from you will be restored because the promise is meant for you. Somebody said the promise is mine. Nobody can steal it. Look, no, God did not promise two people Isaac. He promised only Abraham Isaac. That's it. The promise was to Abraham. When God made promise to David, the promise was not for everybody. The promise was what? Was for David. Somebody, there's a promise God has made for you. He didn't make that promise to any other person in the world. You are the only one. And if you're patient, you will reap that promise. You will reap. And if that promise is given to you and one spirit says he wants to steal, the Lord says that spirit will be arrested. Come on. It will be arrested. And restoration will be made because the gift and the calling of God is without repentance. In the name of Jesus Christ. The gift and the calling of God without repentance. Somebody say, I have a promise. I will live in the promise. I will move in the promise. The promise of God for my life. The promise of God for my family. The promise of God for my household. I will live. I will exist. I will move in that promise. Oh Lord, have your way. Ancient of this, have your way. Somebody put in prayer. Put in prayer, prayer. Somebody put in prayer. Prayer, prayer, prayer. In the name of Jesus Christ. Rakababdo saketelie. Ibran dele ketele mosi. Horaga baba baba. Jaga gadele gadele. Ibran ketele moso kaba. Who is that person under the sound of my voice that God is leading on this holy mountain? Share the broadcast. Share on your wall. Share the broadcast. Share in a group. Share, share, win a soul. Somebody in Jesus' name. Please, in Jesus' name, you will exist in the promise of God and you will not look back. When you look back, you're not fit for the kingdom. When you look back, 
you are not fit for the kingdom. If I look back, I'm not fit for the kingdom. Oh Lord, keep me focused. Somebody pray. Somebody pray. Pray. Oh Lord, keep me focused. Keep my household focused. I have limited time for this session right now. I have limited time for this session. Oh Lord, keep me focused. Oh Lord, keep me focused. Oh Lord, keep us focused. Oh Lord, keep us focused. We have placed our hands on the plow. No looking back. Oh Lord, no looking back. No looking back. Oh Lord, no looking back. In the name of Jesus Christ. No looking back. Oh Lord, no looking back. No looking back. Oh Lord, no looking back. Somebody was finding out the meaning of a dream from the apostle today. You see, in that dream, the Lord showed that that person went about doing what God asked that person to do. If not for the fact that this person went about doing what God asked this person to do, the spirit of death in that dream that came brought a package for this person to accept. But that person, you know, in the dream, it looked like one long, one white little bag of rice. You see, one bag, little bag of rice. And then, of course, before the little bag of rice, the person saw a white gun. So all these have, they have meaning. This, this, all these things have meaning. But you see, because of what that God asked this person to do in that vision, in that dream. Excuse me. Because of what God asked this person to do in the dream. This person did faithfully, which is seeking the kingdom. Okay, in real life, that person happened to be somebody praying and was praying selflessly, praying for other people, praying for families. And so, because of that, this spirit of death transformed from the face that it was to the face of somebody dead. So, I told that person, I said, It is the work of God that you're doing that made the spirit of death to appear through you as the spirit of death. And then that person, when he transformed to a face of somebody dead, he now said that, you see this rice I brought? Okay, it's no more for you. I will give it to somebody else. It is no more for you. I will give it to somebody else. I said, that rice you're seeing is not rice. Remember in your dream, you saw a gun that is white. That white there means a lot. A gun, but white. So that will come like something like love. It will come in a very peaceful way, but it's poison. It's poison. That's why even the spirit told you, don't take the rice anymore. I'll give to somebody else. And then this person in real life later told the apostle, oh, there's a place I'm working. I'm taking care of so, so, so kind of person, blah, blah, blah. But for the past one month, I've not been take, I've not had opportunity to work with that person because that person I've been taken to, you know, so, so, so place. I don't want to start saying some classified things on the bracket. So that person I've been transferred to another place from where that person was staying. Then I said, listen. I don't want to tell you, but since you've gotten to that extent, let me tell you, that person you were taking care of is the place where you would have gotten rice. Do you know what rice is? COVID. You will get the COVID. Simple. You will get the COVID. That's what God is telling you. That's, that, that, you would have gotten the COVID from that place. And you will get the COVID not because you were showing love. That is the white, but there's a gun there. It's a white, but gun. That is the source. You see that white there? Love your claim to care. But God was there waiting. But God who saw that you were doing it not for money. You were doing it not for the money or the wages. As in you were doing it as unto God. The spirit of death there say, okay, the rice is no more for you. I'll give it to somebody else. We need to fear God. We need to fear. A lot of people, God talks to us, but we don't take it serious. We take it just, we take it as, we take it with a, 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 a lackadaisical hand. And this person was like, wow. I say, yes. So you just said that, I, I confirm to you. But the truth is that in the dream, it's not you alone don't mean you. A normal human being, you have a physical body, you have emotional side of you, and you have your spirit. Okay? So even the dream, I told her, even the person, you do not represent only yourself. You represent your children and you represent your family. You see? And one of the child narrowly escaped accident. I said, look, they told you, because of the way you're serving God, we are not bringing death to your family anymore. Somebody join me. Let's lift up a standard against the spirit of what? Death. Arrest and restore. But this time we want to arrest every power of death and restore life to anyone who is sick. Anyone who is related to us that is sick, that is going through anything. Arrest, oh Lord, every spirit of infirmity and restore life again. Somebody join me to pray as we bind the spirit of death. The spirit of death will see you and run away. The spirit of death will see you and say, mission ab aborted. That's what this person saw in the dream. We abort our mission. We take our mission somewhere else. Somebody, except you're not serving God in spirit and in truth, they will abort their evil mission as they get to you. For no weapon formed against you 
will prosper. Every tongue that will rise up against you in judgment, God will condemn. Another person spoke to the apostle, you know, in the, in the dream, somebody with the spirit of death came to call somebody, let us go to church. But this person is dead, confirm, is a dead person, is a dead figure. And this person said, I recognize this person in the dream as a dead person. And then he's calling me, let's go to church. And I said, no, I'm just coming back from church. I'm not coming. And this person tied something on the head. And said, but uh -uh, does it mean that you finish quickly from the church that way? He says, no, I'm not coming. And in that vision, there was a cousin by the side. And the cousin was like, what is your problem? This person says he's, she's not coming with you to church, that she's just coming from church. And then walked up to that that particular spirit standing and remove the scarf that was tied on the head. The person had something like a scarf or turban tied on the head. So this cousin of this person that was being invited to come to church walked up and said, she said she's not coming and they removed the turban from the head of the person. And the person said, ah, is it, are we fighting? And this person said, yes, the main person that was being invited to church said, yes, we are fighting. I am not coming, go. You see, and then that person left in anger. Very simple. And I said, well, do you want to hear what the Spirit of God is saying? Before that time, the Lord has already led us. And I told this person, pray like this, pray like this, pray like that. This is what the Sovereign Lord is saying. And thank God for the spirit of obedience. The person went and did those spiritual instructions. So I told the person, I said, do you know what, what, do you know that if you have followed that person in the dream world, those are the kind of dream people would dream and they will say the person slept. No problem, the person slept and did not wake up. I said, if you have gone with that person, you are not waking up in real life. The see, you're going. Because that person, you knew in the dream that the person, he said, yeah, I knew the person was dead. I said, yeah, that's it. That's the spirit of death. He wanted to come and invite you. I said, you think the person is talking about church? He said, yes. No, I said, he's not talking about church. Don't you know what the church the person meant? Yeah, the grave, the grave now, they're always wearing white there. It's church service every day there. Everybody's wearing white. Everybody is there. He was inviting you to the graveyard. You would think it's, because it's a church, you think it's normal church. No, it's not normal church. Then your cousin is acting in that dream as the Holy Spirit, like Jesus Christ or an angel. Do you know the meaning of the scarf that was knocked off from the head of that person? He said, no. He said, that is the covenant. That's the covenant that brings that spirit to come and pick people from your family. That's why you have people dying periodically. That scarf represents the covenant. That's why he's tying it on the head. So he comes to pick the person to service that covenant, that thing tied on the head. But the knocking off of the scarf and it losing out on the floor, meaning that covenant is broken. So the spiritual action you took developed into that angel you're seeing as your cousin that knocked off that covenant. If not, this season would not miss. Somebody would have gone. Already in that family, already the, there are two people that are yet to be buried. Two people on ground yet to be buried. And that spirit is coming back. God punish the devil. God punish the devil. So the Lord knocked it off. Somebody, I want you to know that God is arresting the spirit of death because of you. God is arresting evil for, because of you. God is arresting. Look, I'm not telling you I'm playing God. I'm not God. It's God who gave the vision. And if God did not tell me the meaning, I will not know the meaning. I'm not guessing. I refrain from saying things like this online. Because a lot of people listen to it and they coin, they start to permutate, like we, call, we say in mathematics. They start to permutate and start to do combination. Also, if you see scarf, it means confidence. Also, if you see this. No, the Holy Spirit will tell you. We call it proverbial dream. That, we have express dream. I call it express dream. We have proverbial dream. Those proverbial dream are when God is speaking to you to mean something else. Joseph had a proverbial dream where lean cows were swallowing fat cows. So if you want to say, oh, so cow means this or cows means that. No, the Holy Spirit tells you the meaning. Sorry, not Joseph. Pharaoh had the dream and, and Joseph came to interpret the dream. And you can see the way um, Joseph interpreted that dream. It had nothing to do with botany or animal kingdom or something like that. He just said that a season of famine is coming that will swallow every prosperity that has ever existed in Egypt. That's how God speaks. We call it, I call it personally, because the Holy Spirit helped me to develop names for these things. I call it proverbial dream. That's dream given to you in a proverb form. 
So just just like in the English language, they say it, it, they, they say it, it, idiomatic expression. The man kicked the bucket. So you'll be thinking it didn't kick the bucket physically. It simply means the person is dead. You see, so those are the kind of vision. And there are some people God give express what they see is what will come to pass. Example, Acts chapter 10. Cornelius saw in the dream an address. He was given an address in the dream. It was not proverbial. But look at the person God was sending him to invite. So Cornelius had what I will call express vision. So send somebody to social so, so place. There is a man there called Peter who is in this person's house. The occupation of the person hosting him is like this. Everything was straightforward. Not, not left meaning right or right meaning left. But look at the Peter that God is bringing as a, at the apostle to be a blessing to Cornelius. God gave him what we call proverbial dream or what I will call proverbial dream. In that dream, he saw all kinds of animals forbidding for myself and you to eat in the book of Leviticus. He saw all of them in a basket and it descended from heaven and went back to heaven. It descended three times and in each time it descended, the Lord said, kill and eat. And he said, look, God, no. I have never eaten anything unclean, which is what some people would always do physically that wants to claim spirit cocoa or sp more spiritual than other people. That's the same thing people were claiming when Zacchaeus went on the stick. They said, how can Jesus enter into the house of Zacchaeus and eat with the sack, with, the, with the sinner, the tax collector? And Jesus said, I did not come for the righteous. I came to restore the sinners back to God. That was the response of Jesus to them. So there are these people with this all this, this forming of holier, holier than down spiritual. When they pass everybody, they expect everybody to be shaking. When they pass, they want everybody to weigh on themselves. Who are you? Even God pass. We are not shaking. You just the servant of God. People are hiding. If they don't say good morning, sir, you feel the anointing has finished. If you preach and nobody clap, you feel that uh, God did not use you. No, you don't need all those words. At the end of the day, God takes all the glory. Look at, uh, look at the one that is about to be converted, Cornelius. God gave express dream, direct dream. No anything, you know, questionable. But look at the apostle. God spoke to him in Proverbs. So I'm trying to say that it is not your 20 years in ministry, 30 years in ministry, apostleship or pastorship that will make God speak to you. Speak to you how he likes. He can speak to you direct or he can give you a proverb. It is the will of God. It is not I have been serving God all this while my dream must be stress. It's not you. It's God giving. You must respect it. He's, he's a respecter of nobody. He left Eli and spoke to somewhere three years old. That's God for you. Take it or leave it. That's God. It has nothing to do with my years in experience, my experience in ministry, my years of serving God. I fast 40 days. All these things are good. But I'm saying they are not incumbent. They are not like compulsorily forcing God to speak to you in a pattern, in a certain way. Now, when God was true with Peter in that vision, he said, listen, Peter, what I present to you, you dare not call unclean. Okay? What I present to you, don't call unclean. It was only when Peter got to the house of Cornelius, he understood that vision. Because he saw all kinds of people that you will consider a sinner. You will consider not to ever want to love God or serve God. Sitting down patiently, waiting for the man of God to come and share the word. That is how God speaks. That is God for you. If you are the type that jokes with your visions and dreams, I pray you don't from now on. If you are the type that jokes with the power of prophecy, I pray you don't. That doesn't mean you should seek prophecy. And that doesn't mean the day you don't prophesy, God did not move. I cannot remember when last Holy Spirit asked me to interpret dream on a live broadcast like this. But people call every day. People speak to the apostle almost every day. You see? But if he doesn't ask me, I won't do it. And some people were like, Apostle, there are so much we are missing on the live broadcast. Why not do live broadcast on this? Why not do a YouTube? A YouTube where you are interpreting dream. I say, is it God who sent me? The question is, is it God who sent me? He said, but he will make your YouTube channel grow. He will make uh, people who come into the broadcast to listen. I said, but is that what God sent me? You see, a lot of people think this, this work is uh, subject to what you think. Permutation, per combination, ideas, and things. No, it's not that. Is spirit and life. You only do as you are told. You only do as you are led. As many that are led by the spirit, says the scriptures in Romans chapter 8. As many that are led, not led by their intelligence, not led by logic, not led by philosophy, not led by psychology, not led by any form of human, human anatomy, human, you know, human physiological you know, thinking or reasoning. No, it's led by the spirit.
and all is spelled in capital. Spirit. You must be led by the Spirit. Praise God. Somebody, we are praying. Oh Lord, arrest. I know what I'm saying. Arrest the spirit of death. Arrest. I've just given you an example where God arrested the spirit of death. Two different people in two different parts of the world. Today, call the same apostle's office and thank God for interpretation. Sometimes God doesn't tell me. I'll just tell the person, just pray. The little, let, give me time. Let me pray and ask God what to say. Sometimes, most times, that's what I say. But if he gives me meaning right there and there, do you want to know the meaning? Should I say it? Okay, let us pray first. And we will pray. And thank God because there is always a confirmation in the life of his people. Arrest for us every spirit of death as we go towards the end of the year. Arrest for us, man of God. Arrest for us, woman of God. And some people, because I tell them, I don't tell them the meaning of the dream, they don't get angry with me because they understand that it is not me. It's not me. It's God. If he tells me, I say. He doesn't tell me, I say, pray like this. That's what he says, I should tell you. Or I tell them, call me back so, so, so time. By then, maybe the Lord would have told me what to tell you. Because you don't want to lie. A lot of people like to say the Lord says. When the Lord, is, in fact, the Lord is embarrassed to some people. Say, I did not say anything. No. I did not say anything. He said, Coco, I did not say anything. More. Jumbo, I did not say anything. More. I don't know what he's saying. May you not be like that. May the Lord arrest every spirit of death. Every spirit of death. Every round. Whether around our family or our communities or our nation, all this spirit of pandemic, oh Lord, arrest for us. Because you promised that a thousand will fall at our side, ten thousand at our right hand side. I want to believe somebody is praying not only for yourself today. You want to remember to pray for your neighbors. You want to remember to pray for your loved ones. You want to remember to pray for your children. You want to remember to pray for anyone and everyone in your community, in your nation, in the name of Jesus Christ. In your community, in your nation. In the name of Jesus Christ, every spirit of death is what we are binding. Any and every arrest, oh Lord, arrest every spirit of death, whether it's in form of pandemic, whether it's in form of infirmity, whether it's any form of poverty, lack and want, discouragement, high blood pressure, anything you want to call, oh Lord, arrest it, arrest all life because you are the giver of life. Arrest, oh Lord, and give life because you are the giver of life. Arrest, oh Lord, and give life because you are the giver of life. Jagaba degade, mekato sukayaba, lebrake deli mantali, horababa, Join me, Mantalio Saketelio, Mantalio Saketelio, Horagababa Shakele Brantali, Mekele Branto Sokayaba, Orekele Batelie, Magagadalaba Saketelimo, Horabababa. Every spirit of death we bind, every spirit of death we uproot, every spirit of death we scatter. Let life be restored to every life, to any life, to every life, any life under the sound of our voice in the name of Jesus Christ. Somebody join me and say, My tomorrow will be greater than today wherever you may be man of god woman of god join me my tomorrow your tomorrow our tomorrow in the name of jesus christ your tomorrow my tomorrow our tomorrow in the name of jesus christ resha kaba dalagaba mandrele ke telebosi hora gaba baba le drele ke telie izan telemoso kaba hora baba o kale batalie me krelebo son taliba ke telie holy ghost fire holy ghost power holy ghost power holy ghost fire holy ghost fire power in Jesus name every spirit of death we bind we bind in the name of Jesus Christ mato sokaba reke delebo sikaba mashaka dalaba maroko poso neketelie mashandaraba ibra dele keteli mosikaba rabba baba somebody join me and lift up your voice and say lord we praise you today oh lord we praise you and as we praise you let there be restoration in the spirit everything stolen from you everything stolen from your family every stolen from your loved ones, let it be restored right now in the name of Jesus. Makato Sekaba, Reke de Lebo Sikaba, Ye Paradalaba, Praise Jehovah, oh, 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 Jekadoliba and Taliba. Somebody praise the Lord, praise the Lord, Jumbo, praise Jehovah, oh, Libra Kato Sukaba. Mande de delegate de lebo, Mokato Sukayaba. Praise the Lord, eh, Praise Jehovah, eh, woh, Lebra Toso. Manga da la gaba, Manga da la gaba, Ibra Ketelebo Sukaba. Praise the Lord, somebody, oh, 
Praise Jehovah, Ewo Ho, Shandele Ukatali. Praise the Lord, praise Him, oh, praise Yahweh. Praise Jehovah, eh, eh, eh. Anyone under the sound of my voice that is weeping right now, forget about what generated those tears and join me to praise the Lord because I see God restoring unto you. I see God restoring unto you. Every year that the canker woman, the caterpillar has eaten, focus on the Lord. Praise Jehovah, eh, oh. Rakelio Zikatalie, Nibale, Ibato so Katalie, praise him, praise him, oh, 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 praise Jehovah, La Delegate Delibo Sikaba, praise him with me, praise him with me, eh, 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 praise the Lord, praise Jehovah, eh, oh, I see restoration in every life. Everyone that I've been written of, this year there will not be a carryover in your life. There will never be a carryover in your life. There will never be a carryover in your life. There will never be a carryover in your life. In the name of Jesus Christ. Every power that is looking for you, looking for your household to be buried. You shall not die, but live to declare the glory of the Lord. You shall not die. You shall not die. You shall not die. You shall not die, but live to declare the glory of the Lord in the name of Jesus Christ. Roba kaga dala gaba, roga gaga gaga gaba, roga gaga dala mosikaba. We have seven more minutes. Somebody, make sure you're praying. Matoso ibradeli manga dala gaba, ibratoso kaba, jele dele gedele mo ubratali, ujala gada limosika teli, ah mandoli otrali mosika. Endrele e barozi kaba, praise Jehovah. Oh, ne kabozi re gaga gada lagaba mato sukaba ledrele ketele. I pray for that person right now under the sound of my voice. Every time, every time throughout the year, it's like one negativity to another negativity. The Lord take away the power of negativity from you, from your household completely. In Jesus and the spirit that is responsible, any covenant that is responsible, any spirit responsible, familiar spirit, any covenant responsible, the power of God scatter it right now. The power of God scatter it right now. The power of God scatter it right now. As the Lord had mercy upon the one who had the dream and sent somebody to knock off the turban or the scarf, and the scarf fell on the floor and losing up, every yoke is broken in your life. Every yoke is broken in your life. Every yoke is broken over your children. Every yoke is broken. In the name of Jesus Christ. Every yoke is broken. Every yoke is broken. Everything is stolen from you. The Holy Spirit starts to restore. Everything is stolen from you. Everything is stolen from you. The Lord restore. The Lord restore. The Lord restore. Good measure, press down, shake it together, running over in the name of Jesus Christ. Mare Ketolos, O Ragadalagabos, O Ragadalagabos, Jegedele Mosikaba, O Bateni Mosikatali, O Gagagaga Nebrale Italio. Praise the Lord, Evo Jale Dralagadali, Jale Dralagadali. O Rababa Mantalie Kadalimo Otalio Zikaye. Thank you, Jesus. Matoso. Monda la gadalagaba. Monda la gadalagadalaba. Monda la gadalagadalagaba. Monda la gadalagadalaba. Me shekerabo so prateli. Today, Lord, as your people drink, they drink to life. Today, when people drink, they drink into prosperity. Today, when people drink this water, they drink, oh God, into your power and your glory. In the name of Jesus Christ. They drink into restoration, financial restoration, spiritual restoration, emotional restoration. Everything that is fighting against your church. In Jesus' name. Let the Spirit of God start to lift up a standard. Let the Spirit of God start to lift up a standard. Let the power of God, let the Spirit of God, let the power of God, let the Spirit of God start to lift up a standard against every power of darkness against every powers of darkness every principality every power every rulers of darkness of this world every spiritual wickedness 
that wants to stop us from praising you. Every power that wants to stop us from praising you. Every power that wants to stop us from worshiping you on the mountain. Every power that wants to stop us. We are four minutes more. Your end shall be sweeter than your beginning. 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 In the name of Jesus Christ, your end shall be sweeter than your beginning. Because the scripture says that the glory of the latter shall be greater than the former. The glory of the latter shall be greater than the former. In the life of your children, the glory of the latter shall be greater than the former. In the name of Jesus Christ, somebody join me and say, my tomorrow will be greater than today. My tomorrow will be greater than today. My tomorrow will be greater than today. Rakete la boso. Moprale e kalie. Mazande e kadosa. Rabande le gedelibo. Break, oh Lord, every chain. Break, oh Lord. Break every covenant. Break, oh God. Break everywhere that every blood sikiba. Delebo sikaba. Somebody join me and say nothing is hard. Reke delebo. Nothing is hard for you. Nothing is hard for my God. Oh, He can do everything. Somebody, what do you want God to do? Present to the Lord today. What do you want God to do today? What do you want God to do? If you believe, nothing is hard for Him. Join me and sing it. Nothing is hard for my God. Oh, He can do everything. Everything you're presenting to the Lord. The Spirit of the Lord. Bible said that the Spirit of the Lord move over the face of the deep. That's the secret of creation. The Spirit of the Lord move over the face of the deep. The Spirit of the Lord move over the face of the deep. And the Lord commanded... The Lord commanded that let there be light. May the Spirit of God start to move over the face of the deep. Everything you're presenting to the Lord, that you may know that nothing is hard for Him. We have one more minute to go for this session. Oh Lord, come and do that. Mato Skyba. Arrest that spirit, that foul spirit, arrest. And rest up unto your charge. Let the spirit of God move. Let the spirit of God move. In the name of Jesus. Let the spirit of God move. He can do everything. Join me and say, My tomorrow will be greater than today. By force, by fire, by fire, by force. God punish the devil. Anybody that doesn't like it can go and hug the transformer or kiss a life for her. God punish the devil. Punish, punish, punish. Bako so katali. Bako so katali. Bako so katali. Bako so katali. Ne shandalaba. E trele e barokozi. Me krele delie. He can do everything. Mandele bosi kayaba. Thank you, Jesus. Nothing is hard for Yahweh. Papa, oh, everything. Alpha Omega, ancient of this daddy, as we carry on with this service, Lord, I ask for your mercy. I ask for your glory. I ask for your power. Let it descend, O God, in the name of Jesus Christ. Let it descend upon everyone, upon everyone, anyone, under the sound of my voice, as I lift up Hosanna, song unto you. Hallelujah. Hosanna, oh, 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 oh. Hosanna, yeah, Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest, oh Adonai, Lord I lift up your name, Adonai, with my heart full of praise, Yahweh. Be exalted, O oh Lord my God, Hosanna in the heart. Yeah. Marcos Tali. 
I ask, O God, O Sanna to you, King of Kings, O Sanna to you, Lord of Lords, O Sanna for as many that you're granting deliverance today as they drink the word, as they pray with the apostles. O Lord, share your glory with no man in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus Christ. So shall it be in Jesus' name. Amen. Very quickly, somebody under the sound of my voice, please type the word arrest. Please quickly type the word arrest. Very quickly. Man of God, woman of God, type the word arrest. Type the word arrest. Because God wants to arrest today a power, a spirit. God wants to arrest in the name of Jesus Christ. Somebody join me. Type the word arrest. Somebody type the word arrest. Please type the word arrest. Okay, type the word arrest. Now we're going to do this very quickly in the next 10 minutes. We're going back into another session of prayer, but prayer with the word. The word with the prayer. That's the next session we're entering into. Prayer with the word. The word with prayer. Okay? Praise God. Praise God. Please decree the word arrest. Because God wants to use you and me to effect the word arrest. There are some powers that wants to steal from you. And if only they would steal and go away, it would have been better. They want to steal, kill. And then they want to destroy. Make sure there is no trace. Wait, in. what did we do for them? What did we do to them? What did we do for them? Now, what did we do to them? They want to kill and destroy. If only they would steal and go. Isn't that better? Because God can replace it double fold. But they don't just want to do that. They want to steal, kill. Kill and destroy. Oh, oh Lord, arrest. Somebody join me. Arrest. Arrest. Anything that wants to steal from you, arrest, oh Lord. Arrest. Enough is enough. God punish the devil. Very quickly, man of God, woman of God. Somebody, how would you how would you expand the word arrest? How would you expand the word arrest? Very quickly. Hallelujah. How would you expand the word arrest? The word arrest. How would you explain the word arrest? That's what I mean. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you for the power of God. Thank you for the presence of God. Thank you for the power of God. Thank you for the presence of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I don't know somebody in this place. He still wants that music playing in the background. I can feel your spirit from where you are. Go punish the devil. Punish, punish, punish. Okay, I'm going to make it very soft. If I can concentrate. If it disturbs me, I'm going to turn it off. I'll just leave it in the background. But we'll use it to pray later on. Praise God. Let me see. If it doesn't disturb me, I'll leave it. If it if it makes me to enter spirit too quickly, I will have to take it off. I'm sorry. Let me apologize ahead of time. But I'll try to take off my mind if I can. Praise God. Because I respond to it very quickly. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. I was just doing worship. I was worshiping God one of these days in this week. And the Holy Spirit said, record it. And the Holy Spirit said, record it. And I recorded it. And then he says, use it during broadcast sometimes. I said, thank you, Holy Spirit. So that's what is happening there. Praise God. Yes, so how would you explain the word arrest? Praise God. Take control, take over. God bless you, Barbara T. I see that. God bless you. How would you explain the word arrest? How would you explain the word arrest? How would you explain the word arrest? Man of God, woman of God. How would you explain the word arrest? Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Daddy. Thank you, Daddy. The word arrest the word arrest. Thank you, Jesus. I told you, if I can concentrate, if I cannot concentrate, I'll take it off. <laughs> Praise God. Okay. Okay, God bless you. Beautiful. Beautiful from Julia A. Take into custody. Beautiful word. Take into custody. That's a very sweet one. Praise God. Take him to custody. Okay. So arrest. Okay. L. White says authorize. Arrest. Authorize. So um, taking to custody is effecting the arrest. Okay. So, but L. White saying authorize, meaning when you say we have the warrant to arrest you. So that's the type L. White is saying. Authorized to take into custody. So that's the one L. White is saying. Bind, beautiful. That is the general meaning of arrest. That's what Barbara T is saying. Bind. In prison, says Kedia 2S. Beautiful. 
the result of the arrest, that's the only purpose. Because that means that person has done something evil. So when he says, take into prison, into prison, that's it. Okay, to capture, God bless you. Orlando, that's from Orlando, capture. Okay, arrest, the raw meaning is capture. Praise God, arrest. God bless you, Prince S, Prince S. S-O, God bless you. Thank you. That's the word we're focusing on. Arrest, yes. Detention, I see that. God bless you. Detention, beautiful word. <laughs> Julia A is hot, hot, hot today. Detention, so arrest, detention, praise God. Okay, stoppage, L White is saying beautiful. Arrest brings a stoppage, a closure. It brings, like, it, it brings something to an abrupt end that's it stoppage beautiful word from ly thank you uh, ly and and julia a they are hot 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 today praise god i like that no mercy <laughs> kd artist say no mercy so when an arrest is being effected in a way it's not a time to show mercy it's just that is a duty it must be done okay so i love the way kd has puts it no mercy so no mercy. When you hear the word arrest, no mercy. So no demon will be will be be giving mercy concerning you. Sickness will not be giving mercy. There's no mercy for them because the mercy will be taken away. God punish the devil. Jaroko sotani. Bareke tell you everything that is working against the will of God in your life. I see God arresting it, taking away by fire by force in the name of Jesus Christ. Jarobo sotani. Rekalio. Rabba ketelebosi. Arrest, oh Lord. Arrest everything that is bringing tears to our eyes. Yay, yeah, you are a faithful God. Arrest, arrest. By fire, by force. Arrest, oh Lord, that spirit of what? Backwardness. That spirit of what? Sh that short form. That poverty, that spirit of death, that infirmity, arrest. Ye kalosi, nibrale etalie, zala ebaro doli ekada, mechale batalio, iye he he, papa o. Arrest. Thank you, Jesus. Put an end. I see that from Julia. A eh? put an end. Loss of liberty. I see that from Julia. God bless you. Cage, I see that from Caro B. Beautiful word. Marco Zikatale. Man delegadelebo. Ye he he. Orabagadalaba. Arrest, O Lord. Ye he he. Everything coming to steal, to kill, to destroy. Oh, show your faithfulness, Adonai. I will praise you now. I will praise you oh, all of my life. Oh, Adonai, I will sing to you, Lord, with my whole heart. I will worship you, O Lord God. You are my hope and my helper, my hope and my helper, my maker and my faithful God, my maker and my faithful God. Lebrado Zika tell you. I will praise you all of my life. Give us the power to seek the kingdom of God. I will sing to you, Lord, with my whole heart. Arrest everything that wants to stop us from praising you. I will worship you, Lord God, my hope and my helper, Lord, my maker and my faith. I will praise you all my life. Grant your church the power to praise you no matter what we see in life, oh Lord. We will sing to you, Lord God, with our whole heart. Oh, oh, oh. I will worship you, Lord God, my hope and my helper, my maker and my faithful God, faithful God, faithful 
God. Oh, you lift us up, oh God. You have rolled our crown. You gave us life when we were meant to die. When we cried, you dried our eyes. You made a promise to us that you are always there for us. You are a faithful God. Somebody type the word restore. I want you to know that the God that is faithful is here to restore to you. If you have lost anything this year, if you have lost anything before this year, if your family has lost anything, your community and nation, the Lord is promising that there will be restoration. Somebody type the word restore. Prophesy restore. As God still, as God arrests everything that has come to steal from you, that has come to steal from me, as God arrests all of them, he will restore. He will restore. Somebody, I'm telling you that the blessing of God for this year will not miss it. Except the word of God can turn back. Isaiah 55 from verse 10, 11 says, the word of God that has gone out cannot come back void until it accomplished in everything that God has commanded. Ho! You are a faithful God. You are a faithful God. Restore in the life of your church. You are a faith. You are a faithful. You are a faithful God. Yet la dozika. You are a faith. You are a faithful God. Somebody gets it. God is ready to show you that He's a faithful God in the life of your son, in the life of your family. Nothing can stop the word of God, Isaiah 55 from verse 10, 11. No thing. It has gone out of his mouth. It must come back with result. In the name of Jesus Christ. Somebody prophesy restoration in every area of our lives. In every area of our lives. No household enemy can steal from you. No household enemy can steal from me. That's why God is there. He's a faithful God. He's the Alpha and Omega. He says it, he brings it to pass. Yeah, le, 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 le. He's a faithful God. You're a faithful God. You're a faithful God. You're a faithful God. You're a faithful God, Papa. Ladrele e calibro zatelie iye hehehe uo uhu uhu uo ladrele makedele ibaro ziandali e katalie you are a faithful God Papa you are a faithful God Daddy and you are a faithful God Daddy whether 2020 likes it or not God is a faithful God. And your year will not end except it ends the way God says. In Jesus' name. It will not end until it ends the way God says. God is faithful till the end. Wipe away your tears. Stop being heartbroken. Focus on the Lord. He is your strength. He is your energy. He is your fulfillment. He is the source of your prosperity. Focus on him. Focus on him. Be strong, man of God. Be strong, woman of God. I see restoration in every area. By force, by fire. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Somebody, I give, I'm giving two minutes extra. Just two minutes. Somebody join me. Two minutes extra. So, somebody help us with the word restoration. How would you put the word restoration? Look at the beautiful words, words that came in where we're looking at the word arrest. So you can imagine this is what we do on this mountain. We like to have a common ground. We like to have a common understanding of the word before we enter into the spirituality and start to pray. So please, very quickly, somebody, how would you explain the word restore? That's the word we're looking at now. The word restore. Hallelujah. The word restore. Shaka Dalios. Man de le gedele, ibra gadalabos, man toso, je gedele bosica, men de le ketelio, yala da la gaba, ye gadala gadalabo, ye gadala gadala gadabo, ye le gedele gedelebo. I like the word replace from L. White. Thank you, L. White, for that word, beautiful word. 
Thank you for that word L white. Replace. So I see God replacing. Thank you for that word KDR to S. I see that. Bring back. I see God bringing back. This year 2020 cannot stop the blessings of God in your life, in my life. I see God bringing back. Everything stolen from you, everything stolen from us this year will be restored back. I see the word return from KDR to S. The house is hot, hot, hot. I see the word return. I see God make a return of your blessings. Hallelujah. Total recovery. I see that from Barbara T. Barbara T. The house is really hot, hot, hot. Barbara T. I see that total recovery. I see God helping somebody to make a 360, a 360 restoration, a 360 recovery in the name of Jesus Christ. Beautiful word coming into the house. Hallelujah. Somebody's receiving. Beautiful. Somebody's receiving. I receive on behalf of everyone on the mountain also in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Praise God. The power of God is here. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for the word replace from Julia A. The word replace. So God is making serious replacements in our life. Recover all, Joy Samuel is saying. Recover all, Joy Samuel is saying. Praise God. Regenerate, says Julia A. Regenerate. Uh, I think we've done enough justice to these two words. And this is the core of the of the of the particular broadcast God has given to us. Hallelujah. We're going to the word. Please don't wait for us to tell you it's time to pray. Because it's prayer and the word. Let's tell him we love him. Hallelujah. I love you, Lord. Adonai. I I honor you, God. I honor you, God. You are God. I praise you, Lord. Give us the grace, O oh Lord, to praise you, Lord. I praise. You are God. I honor you, Lord. Daddy, I, I honor you, Lord. We honor you, God. You are God. on this mountain bless your church everyone focused on you Adonai bless oh Lord we honor you Lord you are good bring about restoration oh Lord oh yes arrest all that needs to be arrested in our lives, Lord, for we honor you, Lord, and you are God. We honor you, Lord, wipe away tears, we honor you, Lord, break the power of death, we honor you. Lord, you are God. Shaka Talaba, Libra do Sikayaba. If you come with me to the book of John chapter 10, Mandalaba Telo Sikayaba. If you come with me to the book of John chapter 10, verse 10, honestly speaking to God Almighty, this is the scripture I'm giving for somebody. The Lord showed me in a vision that every time you pray, he sends your blessing. But while you get distracted, this is what the Spirit of God says. When that person gets distracted, there is a particular spirit that comes and steals that thing and throws it above the fence. Every time. This person will go into fasting. This person will go into prayer. This person will go to you know, a place where people of God are truly praying. And the blessing will be released. 
And every time it is released, those demons will come again and want to come and steal, kill, and destroy. And that's what Jesus said in John 10:10. 10, 10. Hallelujah. But I know the faithful God that I serve. I know this God that you're calling upon. He's a faithful God. He's going to respond to you and me. Bare talio zikayaba. Yedelio kora batali. Nothing can steal from you. Because the Spirit of God is here to arrest. Somebody, you are having this sensation of death. You will not die. Write to this date down. Write to this date down. You will not die. But live to declare the glory of God. Because the power of God will arrest that spirit of death that has come to steal, to kill, to destroy. It cannot be done in the flesh. These are dangerous spirits. These are wicked spirits. They'll be released. They want to make God look like a liar in your life and in my life. They want God to look like a liar in this year 2020. But it's a lie. Somebody hear the word of the Lord. I enter into the spirit and I receive the unction of the apostolic. I decree into your life. This year will not end with I regret. This year will not end with I wish this year was better. This year will not end with I wish it were better than this. This year will end with testimony from you. This year will end with testimony for you. <coughs> Hear me very well, man of God. Hear me very well, woman of God. This year will not end with regrets. Every power that has come to steal the glory of God will deal with it. Somebody join me and say, let the glory of God take over. Let the power of God take over. Everything that wants you to stop praising God, they fail because you will lift up the name of God even higher even much more glorious than before in the name of Jesus Christ like the person who shared the vision anyone under the sound of my voice that every covenant is holding down so what is stealing from some people is the covenant they have entered into the spirit stealing from some people is the covenant and this is just the truth not that God did not bless them but they entered wrongly into a covenant. They made a verbal covenant. Some, they went and exchanged something. You drank something and gave to the other person while saying some words. You did not know, but the covenant has been established. You sealed it up with what you drank. You sealed it up. Some people, they lick blood from each other. And when that spirit come to steal, and the spirit of God want to say, no, he said, look at you, it is an agreement. We, I had an agreement. And God respects vow. Who is that person under the sound of my voice? You're quick to swear. You're quick to say this and that. You're quick to enter into vow. Today, in Jesus' name, as the blood of Jesus lifts up a standard for you, you dare not leave this mountain again and go and make unnecessary vow. You dare not make up. A lot of people have. It is the sexual, it is the sexual situation that they practice. Because I know children watch this with parents. I choose my words during broadcast. But I know the adults, they understand what I'm saying. So the, the sexual situation that they entered into is what steals from them. Is what steals from them. You went into that activity and you collected money. The one who gave you money knows what he's collecting from you. They know that what they collected from you, money cannot give you. But today, the mercy of God. The mercy of God. Because it was you God gave. Even though they come to steal from you. The faithfulness of God will restore. You are a faith. You are a faithful God. You are a faithful God. Yeah. You are a faith. You are a faithful God. You are a faithful God. You are a faith. You are a faithful God. Yeah. You are a faithful God. If you're under the sound of my voice and you went into an unknown covenant, today the mercy of God, the faithfulness of God will break that covenant for you. Maybe you have confessed what God asks you not to confess. The mercy of God. 
the glory of God will undo all those wicked covenants that keeps coming to steal, to kill, to destroy. When you were young, you made a careless statement. Me, I don't want to have a child. Me, I don't have to have a child. And now you've been having non-stop miscarriages. Because that statement keeps coming back to steal from you. The mercy of God. Hey. You are a faithful God. The Lord arrest the spirit. Enough of that blood. Enough of that bleeding. The mercy of God catch up with you now. The mercy of God make a way for you. This year will not end in tears for you. No way. Somebody join me and say, Convert my tears to tears of joy. Convert my tears of sorrow to tears of joy. Convert, oh Lord God. The Lord convert all your tears to songs of praise. Hear my cry. Respond to our cry. Make a way where there seems to be no way. Every power that has come to steal, kill, and destroy, especially in businesses. Rekatosi. Mandale kadala kadala gaba. Holy Ghost Harris. Holy Ghost Harris. Holy Ghost Harris. Holy Ghost Harris. Masha katosi gaba. Maretalios. Please, if you're under the sound of my voice, when God breaks that yoke, don't stop praising God, though. Don't stop praising Him, because Israel told Pharaoh. On behalf of Israel, Moses spoke to Pharaoh. He said, we want to go and worship God on the mountains. Look, God will do anything if you're a worshiper. God will do anything if your priority is to praise God. That's why Jesus even said, seek ye first the kingdom of God and all his righteousness. Everything will be added. Don't be deceived. Any prosperity that is not from God cannot stand the test of time. It's mirage. I showed you in Psalm 92. God said, don't envy the, the, the wicked and the one that commits iniquity when they flourish. He said, don't, don't envy them because God is going to destroy them. That's the truth. God is going to destroy. But Psalm 92 verse 5, he said, God is doing great works and his thoughts are very deep towards me and you. His thoughts, they are very deep. My faithful God has very deep thoughts towards you. And that's why there's nothing the principalities and powers will do. There's nothing the principalities and power will do to steal, to kill, to destroy that will be successful in your life. The Lord arrests every spirit that wants to kill. The Lord arrests every spirit that wants to steal. The Lord arrests every spirit that wants to destroy. My God arrests in the name of Jesus Christ. Baroto Sikaba. The Lord arrests in the name of Jesus Christ. Jengedelebo Sikaba. That power of pain. That power of shame. That power of embarrassment. The Lord are arrested now. Turn embarrassment to testimonies. My faithful God. You come and sing with the apostle. He's a faithful God. He will lift you up. You will say, He will have rolled my cross. You will testify. That he gave you life. You will testify. He cleaned off your tears. You come back to this mountain to say. He's always there for me. He's a faithful God. Hallelujah. <laughs> what a remarkable God. What a wonderful God. Why do I call him faithful God? Come with me to the book of Matthew chapter 16 from verse 17 to 18. Matthew chapter 16 from verse 17 to 18. Verse 17, the Lord gave to me specifically to talk to somebody. Jesus said something. He said, Jesus answered and said unto them, Blessed art thou Simon bar Jonah, for flesh and blood had not revealed. I want you to underline the word revealed. Flesh and blood has not revealed unto you. 
flesh and blood has not revealed, underline the word reveal, flesh and blood has not revealed unto you, but my Father which is in heaven, but my Father which is in heaven, somebody, I want you to know how faithful God is. God has revealed to you the blessing he wants to bring into your life. God has revealed to you the dream. God has revealed to you his intention. But there are some spirits that want to make you doubt. Will God do it? Will God not do it? Don't listen to them. They are coming to steal, kill, and destroy. Somebody, you are like Peter here. God has revealed to you. Hold on to your dream. Hold on to that revelation God gave to you. The, he said flesh and blood did not reveal. Who is that person that God has revealed to here? Join me and sing and say, he's a faithful God. If he reveals, he will bring it to pass. He's a faithful God. If he revealed, if he revealed to you, if he revealed to me, if he revealed to us, he's a faithful God. He will bring it to pass. Nothing can stop it. He's a faithful God. If he revealed it to you. Rapa koto sikaba yele drele gedele ba ye he he madolio zika talaba uhu 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 makozika ebra ledele he's a faithful God. If God revealed, go and find out if it is God who revealed it. That's all I challenge you to do. Find out if God has revealed. If God has revealed, it must surely come to pass. Ma terrible. If God revealed, wait for it twenty years. Wait for it thirty years. If God revealed, it must surely come to pass. Jesus waited 30 years before he started ministry. So what are we talking about? Moses waited for 40 before he was called by God. 40 years. Our father Abraham waited for 25 years. Go and find out if God has revealed to you. If God has revealed, go and find out. Make sure nobody steals that revelation from you. You are a faithful God, I declare, Lord. You are a faithful God. You are a faithful Go and find out. It was from the mouth of Jesus Christ. Jesus said, flesh and blood has not revealed it. Stand up for it. Die for it if possible. Esther was ready to die for it. Esther said, if I perish, I perish. Get said to die for it. Abraham was ready to kill his son for it. He says, if he doesn't provide the lamb for the sacrifice, I will yet sacrifice this Isaac, for I know he's a faithful God. Be ready. Be ready. Be ready to sacrifice. But remember, God did not make Abraham to kill. So some people don't miss and say, oh, apostle talked about kill. God will not. At the end of the day, he's a faithful God. He didn't need, he doesn't need you or me to kill for him. He stopped Abraham and said, no, stop there. I've seen your faithfulness. I've seen that you've seen me as a faithful God. With Moses, he told Moses, Moses said, but I'm a stammer. I said, no, 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 no. I'm a faithful God. I created your mouth. I'll be there with you. I will be there with you. I will demonstrate the power. Esther waited all her life to be queen, but she was ready to die for it, if it means dying. Jesus gave up the spirit for me and you. 33 years on earth, he went to the cross for you and me. Somebody under the sound of my voice, you have to see him as a faithful God. Don't listen to your fears. Don't listen to anything. Focus on the Lord. Stand with that revelation. Hold on to that revelation. Let Jesus say, flesh and blood has not revealed to you. If Jesus has told you that, then hold on to your revelation. Hold on tight like Joseph. Hold on to that revelation. Let no man steal it away from you. Yeah, hey, hey. Adonai, his Lord is a faithful God. Yekadosa, Deleos. Listen, why am I saying if the Lord revealed to you? See, when God reveals to you, it attracts a lot of things. A lot of us don't understand. When the Lord reveals to you, it brings, it attracts to you also. It attracts things you didn't expect. Let me give you an example of the attraction. If you come with me to Matthew chapter 16 verse 18, look at it. Look at, I'm going to read. It says, and I say also unto thee, that thou art Peter, and upon this church I will build. I want you to take note of the word, I will build. He's a faithful God. He has committed himself. I will build. 
a lot of people think let me help god uh, it's taking it's taking 10 years it's taking 30 years i'm becoming ashamed all of us think the same way because we are human beings i feel that way so i'm not playing holier than down okay but look at the word of god he said i will build he did not say help me to build he did not say consult people to build for me why do we try to help god what is wrong with human beings for god's sake why can't you take god by his word i will build is what he said i will build just praise him remind him he's a faithful god and let's see if he will keep to his word or not let's let's see if he will keep to his word i will build my church my church my church i will build my church that's what the lord said i will build my church look at what is always attracted when you get revelation this is always attracted when you get revelation it says the gates of hell shall not prevail against it did you hear that english the gates of hell shall not prevail prevail meaning they are going to try to they are already charging against it they are already trying to stop it so when you get revelation it attracts the gates of hell immediately it attracts john 10 10 the power that wants to kill steal this it attracts it immediately jesus says but they will not overcome somebody type and say they will not overcome somebody said they will not overcome they will not overcome if your love for god is real if your love for God is genuine, they will not overcome. Bible says, and I quote, that all things work together for gold for them that love the Lord, for them who are called according to his purpose. Romans chapter 8 verse 28. If you love God, if you truly love the Lord, the gates of hell will not prevail against you. The gates of hell will not prevail, but they will be attracted. If you are the type that goes for revelation, you should also know that it is a two-way coin. As you're receiving revelation, the gates of hell also is attracted. It's like when you get a good food in Africa and you don't expect flies to come. It's like when you get the right palm wine. How do you know a fresh palm wine? It's because flies will naturally be attracted. Now, everybody wants fresh palm wine, but everybody knows that you must fight with the fly. If you're not careful, some fly will even die inside. God punish the devil. Let me tell you, somebody, hear ye. I enter into the spirit and I receive unction of the apostolic. I decree that every power that will try to stop you, every demon that will try to stop you, as the fly dies inside the palm wine, so they will die for your sake. In the name of Jesus Christ. Every power that wants to force themselves to stop the flow of the anointing in your life, to stop the flow of God in your life, as the fly dies in the pan wine, now so them go die. God punish the devil. Now so them go die. Everyone that's over my dead body, so shall it be. Every spirit attracted just because the blessings of God has come to you. Every spirit that is attracted just because the revelation of God has come. Notice that all those household enemies and all those demonic spirits, you will never know they exist in a family until somebody prospers. If everybody is going foolishly, you will never know those demons are there. Immediately somebody receives manifestation of revelation, you see those demons will come. And it is time also for God to crucify them. The Lord would arrest them. The Lord would arrest them and destroy them. Somebody that was not prayerful, that has been arrested and they collected from you, my God is collecting it from them and restoring back unto you. This is what Jesus said, I will build. I will build. I will build. Who is that person worried under the sound of my voice? Why not tell the Lord, come and build? You said you will build. Come and build. Why are you worried about your business? Tell the Lord, come and build. It's his promise to you and me. It's your promise. It's a promise. If you're worried over your son, tell the Lord, come and build this boy for me. Worried over your daughter, tell him, come and build. Sometimes I ask my mother a question. I say, mommy, is there anything your prayer cannot do? She said nothing. Then I ask her, can your worry do everything? In fact, what can your worry do? He said, nothing. I said, then, they are, it's very simple. Then mommy, keep praying for me. That's it. Keep praying for me. That's all. Somebody under the sound of my voice, your worries, what will you do for your son? What will you do for your daughter? Okay, your worries, what will you do for your business? Okay, your prayers, what do you think your prayer can do to, to your business? Or do to your son? Or do to your marriage? Or do to your circumstance? Why do we leave the main, the major thing and we go after what is not the main thing? I am also speaking to myself. Those who know me, they know. Me, I don't lie about it. Sometimes I sit down, my mind will just change because I've become a human being like everybody. I feel it. But I wonder. But that's why the Bible said that 
God, the Holy Spirit helps our infirmity. So you understand that we are flesh and blood. In the flesh, Jesus cried though. So if Jesus, that is uh, God in the flesh, wept like me and you. Come on, what are we talking about? Jesus on the cross say, Father, why has thou forsaken me? So who am my, who is, who are you, who am I that will not feel pain? We'll feel it now. After all, the, the principalities we are talking about, the gates of hell that is attracted, they are coming to make us get discouraged. That's why they are coming. They are coming to make us discouraged. But in Jesus' name, I will not get discouraged. You will not get discouraged in the name of Jesus Christ. So if Jesus can feel it like that, then myself and you have no choice. We are going to feel it. But one thing is sure. God came through for Jesus. Somebody, God will come through for you. God will come God punish the devil. God will come through for you. Of course, I understand what the Spirit is saying, but it's coming through for you. Everything in the Spirit is in the past. And by His stripes, you are healed. God came through already, but He will manifest in a way you can understand. I understand the voice of the Spirit, but I have to speak the voice of humans. Hallelujah. So, somebody, listen. I want you to leave this mountain with one thing. If you are the type that have received revelation, you should know that the revelation has a second side. Jesus did not major on the second side, but Jesus observed the second side. He did. He did not ignore it. A lot of Christians try to ignore. Don't ignore. Jesus talked about it in passing. My God says, it will not prevail against you. Somebody join me and say, every power trying to prevail against us as you drink the water today. As you put in your prayer mandate, everything trying to prevail against God's revelation in your life, God's revelation for your family, God's revelation for your generation. I mean, everything this year that is trying to go against the revelation of God for 2020. Oh Lord, arrest and give final judgment. Somebody, I want to hear you type final judgment. Somebody say final judgment is with God. Everything that has happened this year is not the final judgment. The final judgment is with God. Even if it takes one day, God will do it. Even if it is one hour left, he will do it. My God is going to drop the final judgment. He's going to hit that it is going to hit that hammer on the table and that is final. It's going to hit that hammer on the table and that is final. And somebody I see that hammer heated on the table favoring you. That hammer touching that table it favors you in the name of Jesus Christ so somebody I am here to reassure you John chapter 10 verse 9 I am here to reassure you John chapter 10 verse 9 John chapter 10 verse 9 praise the Lord lift up your voice and praise him Praise the Lord, praise Him, oh, praise the Lord, praise Jehovah, oh, eh, oh, what do I mean? John chapter 10 verse 9, it says, I am the door, by me, if any man enter in, he shall be saved, he shall be saved, I am the door, I am the door, I am the door, if, conditional statement, if any man will enter into me, he shall be saved and shall go where? He shall go in and out, shall go in and out, shall go in and out and find pastures. Will go in and out, will go in and out. Somebody, if you find Jesus today on this mountain, you are guaranteed to go in and out, your business in and out. This year, in and out. You will not die this year. You have come in and you go out of this year. But that is if you have found Christ. The condition is very clear. If you receive the power of revelation from Jesus today, you will go in and out and there is nothing the powers of hell can do. That's what my God is saying. There is nothing the power of hell can do. That's why I say that the gates of hell shall not prevail against you. You go in and out. You go in and out. Somebody I prophesy, I enter into the spirit. I receive the grace of the apostolic. I decree over you. I decree over your children. I decree over your family. In Jesus' name, you go in and out. You have come into this year and you're going out of this year with blessings. You're not going out with regrets. You're not going out with carryovers. You're not going out with all the blessings of God stolen from you. You're not going out with all the blessings destroyed. No way. No way. The Lord contend with every contender of your life. 
The Lord contend. The Lord contend with the contender of our children. The Lord contend with the contender of our families. The Lord contend. The Lord contend. You go in and out. Today, don't leave this mountain without finding Jesus. The only thing, make sure you find Jesus. That's all. Once you find Jesus, you can go in and out. You can go in and out financial life. You can go in and out your business. Somebody join me and say, nothing is hard for him. Nothing is hard for him. Just find Jesus on this mountain. Oh, nothing is hard for my God. Oh, oh, oh. he can do everything. Recado sikabatali. Make sure you find Jesus on this mountain. Don't do anything for men to see you. Don't try to please people. It doesn't work. Make sure you contact Jesus. He's going to give the final say in your life. He will give the final verdict in the name of Jesus Christ. Yokes will be broken for your sake. Yokes will be broken for the sake of your children. Yokes will be broken for your community. Yokes will be broken for your nation. The yoke of 2020 that wants you not to go in and out will be broken because you have found Jesus. Hallelujah. Nothing is hard. Nothing is hard for him. Your business can recover financially. Everything can turn around. Nothing is hard for my God. He can do everything. Touch somebody on this mountain for me. Nothing is hard for him. Adonai. Nothing is hard for my God. Hey, whoa. He can do everything. Whatever you bring to the Lord today, somebody put your prayer request right now. If you have found Jesus Christ and you're ready to find Jesus on this mountain, if you know this word is made for you, if you have received revelation from this word, I want you to know that the gates of hell will come, but they will not prevail. They will not prevail. They will not prevail. They will not prevail. Will not prevail. Nothing is hard for God. Cry unto him. In the next seven minutes, we are going to drink this water. In the next seven minutes, we are going to drink water. In the next seven minutes, we are going to drink water. Ma tabros. Man delege delebos. O reketelie dalios. O zakatalie dalio baros yandelie. Ibra dalie kadosika. Nothing is hard. Nothing is hard. Put in your prayer mandate. 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 Nothing is hard for him. Medralosika. Medralosika. Nekalosika tali. When you're putting in your prayer mandate, please remember Isaiah 45, verse 11. Isaiah 45, verse 11. I don't know why. Most times we don't pay attention to what God is telling us, and that includes me. You know me, I don't spare myself. That includes me. Because Isaiah 45 verse 11 says, Consigning the works of my hand. Let me read it. I don't want to paraphrase. Thus said the Lord, the Holy One of Israel, and his maker, ask me of things to come. Ask me of things to come. Everyone has the right to receive a revelation. Revelation is not made for some people so that everybody runs around. Prophesy to me. Prophe don't, I, don't get me wrong. Prophecy is good. I love prophecy. And prophe God speaks through me. And God speaks through people to me. And that's what prophecy is all about. But I should not break my neck looking for prophecy. Because some people are lying. Prophesying doesn't mean prophecy is a lie. Okay? Because some people are bad fathers doesn't mean good fathers don't exist. Because some people are bad mothers doesn't mean good mothers don't exist. So, because some people are over the top and doing it wrongly doesn't mean prophecy is wrong. Doesn't mean there is no good apostle. Even though we have some apostles that have question marks. Even though we have evangelists and pastors with question mark, but there are men of God of a, of a truth. So I'm trying to establish that fact. Look at it. Thus said the Lord. Thus said the Lord. Isaiah 45 verse 11. The Holy One of Israel, his maker, ask of me the things to come, consigning my sons and consigning the works of my hand, command ye me. Praise God. Command ye me. <coughs> Now, God has given you a C. It depends on which C you want to activate. The C of command, or the one people normally do, including myself, except by the grace of God, everybody does it. Even the Lord Jesus Christ did it at a particular time with all due respect on the cross. By saying a lie, 
Eli Lama Sabatani. What do I mean? We all like to stay on Isaiah 45 verse 9 and verse 10. Bible said that can a pot ask the potter, why did you create me? Why did you create me? Why have you fashioned me like this? And then verse 10, the Lord went further to say, cause be that child that says, what do you think you have given birth to? Is this, you called me a son. Am I a son to you? So you gave birth to me with my leg like this, with my hand like this, with my face like this, and you're proud that you are a father. Bible says, cause be such a child. That's the meaning of verse 9, saying, can a pot ask, why do you create me like this? And some of us, by default, we say, God, why me? God, why now? God, why is this happening? But you're questioning, and that's not it. You're questioning. You are actually complaining. So that is the C most of us activate. Complain. In quote, with all due respect, Jesus showing that his flesh and blood on the cross says, Eli, Eli, lama sabatani, meaning, my God, why, my God, why hast thou forsaken me? Complain. That's what most of us know how to do. Complain. But thank God for the grace for as many that wants to receive grace. The grace that God wants myself and you to activate is not verse 9. It's not verse 9 and verse 10. It's actually verse 11. Consigning the works of my command. Even when human beings create a car, they didn't ask the car to command them. Human beings created TV, they didn't ask TV to command them. But my God created me and you and said, command me. What other thing do we want? Why do we forget this word for God's sake? God said, command. Look, if I want to call you with the phone, I don't need to tell the phone, oh, I've been trying to call so-so-so -so person. All along, I've not been able to call. I'm tired of not. I just want to speak to this person. Use this phone. The phone does not understand that language. If you want to call somebody, go to the call log. Go to contact. Press that sign of call. Give it a command. Call. And the phone will call. Somebody under the sound of my voice. Can you give a command today? Can you give God a command today? Do you want a revelation? But remember what Apostle said. That revelation comes with what? The gates of hell. But Jesus said that the gates of hell will not prevail against you. So don't ask for revelation or receive a revelation and go and be having party. You have to pray your revelation to reality. You have to pray to reality. That's the only way the gates of hell will not prevail. You have to pray. You have to fast. Jesus said this type does not go except by prayer and by fasting. The Lord showed us by example. Every time he's fasting, every time he's praying, every time he withdraw himself to the mountain, somebody follow the good examples, follow the good example, which is the example of Jesus Christ, not the examples of some people who feel they have to do this ritual or have to do that ritual or they have to do this. That is not it. God doesn't need anybody to assist, assist him. Somebody under the sound of my voice. Why not let us activate the C? The C in Isaiah 45 verse 11. Command. 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 He's a faithful God. Command. 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 Holy Ghost fire. Holy Ghost power. Somebody command arrest. Command the arrest of that evil spirit. That principality. That power. Jesus commanded. Get thee behind me. He did not negotiate with them. He said, get thee behind me, Satan. Somebody follow Jesus' example. Get thee behind me. I bind you in the name of Jesus Christ. Holy Ghost, take control, take over. Why do you think the Lord asked me to share on the mountain? Holy Ghost, take control, take over. Holy Ghost, take over, take control. Why do you think the Lord asked us to do that? Just say, blood of Jesus. I plead the blood of Jesus against you, spirit of death. I plead the blood of Jesus against you, spirit of poverty. I plead the blood of Jesus against you, spirit of lack and want. Plead the blood. Release a command. Release a command because the blood speaks for you and me. The blood was a reminder on the face of Cain that whoever touches Cain, God say we are vain seven times. The blood speaks. And the blood of Jesus, Hebrews chapter 12, 24, speaks better. The blood speaks better. Why do you think Christian little thing? There's the blood of Jesus. It's not for fun. It's not a tradition. It's a command. It's a command. It's a secret code. It's a secret code that takes care of the gates of hell that will come to eat up the revelation. It takes care of the gates of hell that wants to stop the great works that God is doing. That's why it says, it says, ask me of things to come and consigning the works of my hand. Very specifically, consigning the works of my hand. Command, 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 command. That's what God says, not complain, complain, complain. He says, command, command ye me. Command, command, not complain, complain, complain. Change level today. Change level. Enter the level of command. That's what God is waiting for. Holy Ghost fire. 
Holy Ghost power, take control, take over. Holy Ghost move. Holy Ghost take over, take control. That's what matters. Holy Ghost move. Holy Ghost take control. Holy Ghost take control. Holy Ghost take over. Ibra Mantoso Kaiba. Ibra Ketelimosi. Please get your bottle of water and let the Spirit of God move over your water. Metalio I will praise you all my life now. I will praise you all of my life. Are you ready to praise the Lord? Hallelujah. His power is here. Oh yes, Lord, and I will sing to you, O oh Lord, with my whole heart. Make sure you're putting your command, man of God, woman of God, because the power of God is here. The glory of God is here. The mercy of God is here. The strength of God is here. Ancient of days, Alpha and Omega, I want to give you praise. I want to thank you for the revelation of today. And I'm asking you, God, Jehovah, every power that wants to steal, that wants to kill, that wants to rest, that wants to destroy, Father, arrest for us. Arrest, oh God, arrest the spirit. And if there be anything stolen already, Lord, let there be a restoration. Hey, Jehovah, they were they had stolen already from the life of Naomi, but you are the God of restoration. You brought restoration in the life of Naomi. Is there anybody like Naomi under the sound of my voice that they have stolen already from? Oh Lord, let there be a restoration. They stole from Naomi to from, from Naomi to a point whereby Naomi started to say, call me Mira. Is there somebody crying on this mountain? Is there somebody crying and saying, Lord, hi, they've stolen from me so much that Lord, my life is equal to bitter. The gates of hell has withstood me so much that I've lost confidence in my revelation. Lord, let there be restoration. I enter into the spirit. I receive the grace of the apostolic and I decree into the life of your church in the name of Jesus Christ because the power of water makes everything that comes across the water to grow. It supports life. I command the power in the water that supports life. In fact, the power of revelation that says three things bear witness of your Lord God Almighty which makes water one of it. Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ. Except your word is not what? Except you're not God. Except, oh Lord, Alpha and Omega that the power of your word is not true. If the power of your word is true, then I decree today that everyone that will come in contact with this water, the same way water makes seeds to grow according to nature and according to principle that you have put in place as water supports life. Father, the revelation that you have shown to your people will be re re revived, regenerated. Daddy, it will be reactivated by fire, by force. In the name of Jesus Christ. If there be anybody sick under the sound of my voice, I see the power of healing coming as the people drink, as they tap into the deep. Father, somebody that is just unnecessarily bitter, unnecessarily full of unforgiveness, unnecessarily, you know, carrying so much weight in their heart. Everything that the enemy is using to steal from their daddy, as they drink this water, it will be flushed out because they, from out of their, their belly will flow rivers. You didn't say just uh, you didn't just say movement of water. You say reverse or living water. From today, in Jesus' name, bitterness dies. Faribo so katali. Bitterness dies. Pain dies. Regret dies. Sickness dies in Jesus' name. And you will join the apostle to say. He's a faithful God. I say you would testify. You are a faith. You are a faithful God. That will be your son. You are a faithful God. Thank you, Jesus. You are a faith. You are a faithful God. That will be your son. You are a faithful God. That will be your son, a faithful God. Ibradalia, you are a faithful God, Papa. Oh, yeah, la bratele bosikaba. La delio, oh, pare et delicadale. Yelelele, I don't take your place. Plead the blood of Jesus with me seven times. The blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus Christ. 
Join me as we release a command. Holy Ghost, take control, take over seven times. Holy Ghost, take control, take over. 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 In the name of Jesus Christ. Somebody join me as you say in Jesus' name seven times is a command. Because at the name of Jesus, every knee must bow. So people don't know. You just think we call Jesus for crawling sake. No, it's a command. Acts chapter 12, Acts chapter 4, verse 12. Acts chapter 4, verse 12. John chapter 14, verse 13. John chapter 14, verse 14. It's a command. Once we release that name, in Philippians it says, By the name of Jesus Christ, every knee will bow, every tongue will confess that Jesus is Lord. Please join me as we call that name, as we release that command seven times. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ, in the name of Jesus Christ, in the name of Jesus Christ, in, the name of Jesus Christ. in Jesus' name, so shall it be. Let's drink together if you have faith in God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This time is a very special time for those people God talked about in John chapter 10 verse 9. So if you are one of those people that God has given the opportunity to enter through the door called Jesus Christ. I am the door and by me if any man enter in, if any man enter in, he shall be saved. He shall be saved. He shall be saved and shall go in and out in and out and find pasture and remember that this pasture is well defined in psalms 23 it's not just pasture but a green pasture but that is not for today so when he said and we will find pasture it's not just pasture it's a green pasture also he confirmed that same psalm 20 psalm 23 in jeremiah 17 so if you read jeremiah 17 you will still know what we are talking about that is green pasture where your roots will grow very go very far so please take note, not just pasture. However, if you like to give your life to Jesus Christ, stretch forth your hand towards me, say with me, Lord Jesus, I come before you. I confess every sin that I've committed knowingly and unknowingly. Wash me clean with the power of the blood of Jesus Christ. Write my name in the Lamb's book of life. I'm sorry, I'm speaking very fast. Write my name in the Lamb's book of life. Say with me every covenant that I have entered into. Because that is what steals from a lot of people. Every covenant that I have entered into, consciously and unconsciously. Every covenant that my ancestors have entered into on my behalf, on behalf of our families, consciously or unconsciously. Let the power of the blood of Jesus destroy. And that is a command. Let the power of the blood of Jesus destroy. That is a command. Let the power of the blood of Jesus destroy. That's a command. Holy Ghost power. Holy Ghost, fire, take control, take over. That's a command. Holy Ghost, power, Holy Ghost, fire, take control, take over. That's a command. Holy Ghost, fire, Holy Ghost, power, take control, take over in the name of Jesus Christ. Say with me, say, I believe that Jesus died for me. He was buried for my sake. And for my sake, he was lifted from the grave. Say, I believe in my heart. I confess with my mouth so I find salvation. That is entering into Jesus Christ. Entering into Jesus Christ, John chapter 17, verse 20. If you believe with your word, you enter into him. What do I mean? Romans chapter 10, verse 9. With the heart man believe unto righteousness and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation so enter as you say i am born again say i am born again say i am born again and it is binding in the name of jesus christ if you would like to dedicate your life unto god please join me by saying i dedicate i dedicate I dedicate my life unto you, Alpha Omega, and it is binding in Jesus' name. Let us pray. Alpha Omega, I give you praise. I want to thank you, O God, for this broadcast. I want to thank you for every man of God, woman of God that has given their life unto you. Father, take all the glory, take all the honor, take all the praise. Arrest, O God, everything walking contrary to your will. Every gates of hell that wants to prevail against the church. Arrest, O God, every spirit that wants to kill, steal, and destroy. Arrest, O Lord, and bring about restoration to those that have lost out in one form or the other as you restored unto Naomi as you restored unto Naomi as you restored unto Mordecai and Esther even when it looks as if the enemy has stolen you are you arrested the enemy Haman you arrested the enemy Haman and you arrested him by his own craft you arrested him by his craftiness you brought Proverbs 26 verse 27 to a reality in his life that whosoever did get a piece shall fall into it whoever tried to stone the stone will go back onto him you made him to fall by the same plans that he put up for God's people, for God's lovers for those who are God's worshippers today I enter into the spirit I receive the strength of the apostolic and I decree in the name of Jesus Christ upon every man of God, woman of God that the hands of their life has finished and concluded 
and it looks as if they are ready to stop the revelation in Jesus' name. Oh Lord, catch Haman by his what? By his craftiness. But rather use Haman, the same Haman, to facilitate, to fuel, to make way, to bring to pass, to kick start the revelation that you have given to your people. Hear the cry of your servant, O oh Lord. Everyone that has put prayer heart, wholeheartedly on this mountain, Father, we love you. Bring those prayers, O oh God, to reality in the name of Jesus Christ. Everyone weeping, convert all their tears to tears of joy. Everyone in pain, O oh God, convert it to gain. Everyone, O oh God, under the sound of my voice that found themselves at the zero level of life, make them heroes, such that people will use them as a prayer, as a reference point for their prayer point in the name of Jesus Christ. Erase, O oh God, and erase every frustration, convert it, O oh God, to fruitfulness for us. Every frustration, convert to fruitfulness. Everyone that have the grace, oh God, to be complaining today, I take away the tongue of complaining and the switch, I switch over that tongue to command. I switch over your people from Isaiah 45 verse 9 and 10 I switch them over to Isaiah 45 verse 8. 11. I enter into the spirit. I receive the option of the apostolic and I decree now in the name of Jesus Christ that your people from today will release command. They will release command and the angels will attend unto them in Jesus because you have given angels charge over us. So shall it be. So shall it be. So shall it be. I pray for anyone and everyone in the hospital, prison, home, your mercy, your grace, in Jesus' name. Thank you, O God, for healing and thank you, O God, for your mercy. I pray especially for the doctors and the nurses, O God, through this period of pandemic. I ask for special anointing and protection over their life and their household because they are the front line. But you are faithful, God. You are faithful, God. You are faithful, God. I also pray, O oh God, for anyone, everyone under the sound of my voice that is trusting you, O oh Lord, for their business, that is trusting, O oh God, to recover this year's loss. Father, this year is too small to stop the potency of your word because your word must catch up with your church. Everything standing up against your church, bring down and let your word prevail in the name of Jesus Christ. I want to thank you for every prayer Monday that has come into this house. I want to thank you for everyone celebrating their birthday. I ask for long life and prosperity with good health upon everyone celebrating their birthday in Jesus' name. Upon every man, every woman, boy, girl, I release the apostle benediction in Jesus' name and let it catch up with your church. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. May the Lord lift up the light of his countenance upon you, upon your household, upon whatsoever you are finite to do, upon whosoever is connected to you by blood. May the arm Alpha, Alpha, may the Omega, Omega, may the beginning and the end, may the beginning and the end grant you peace. The Lord grant you peace. The Lord grant you peace now and forevermore. Amen, so shall it be. Amen, so shall it be. Amen, so shall it be. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. I want to thank you for everyone that has, you know, stayed on the broadcast with me. I think I'm about eight minutes or eight minutes or ten minutes above the normal time that we stay on the broadcast. And I want to thank you for your understanding. I want to thank you that you're patient with me to come to the very conclusion of the broadcast. Also, I want to thank God for everyone that has been sharing the broadcast because I was so consumed in the in the moment and I did not even remember to remind the house to please kindly share the broadcast, but I, I know that the Spirit has done it. I can't do the work of God for God and I really appreciate God for each and every one of you praying fervently in Jesus' name. Somebody called and decided to stay. Somebody called into Apostle and stayed online to join us in the prayer also i want to say i appreciate and i and i want to thank god for your life please if you're if you're watching on the youtube you want to make sure you subscribe to the youtube channel for us so please go go to the youtube if you are not yet there type unbounded house or type unbounded house life and please make sure you subscribe to the youtube channel such that whenever we are online you will know and whenever you make comments i'll be able to read from you god bless you okay um i do not know if some people would have wanted to have the the a song that was playing in the background but i'm going to upload it very soon on our youtube channel okay so i'm going to upload it on the youtube channel and probably if you wanted to pray and you needed some background something or you even if you wanted to use it you know to as a background tool it's god's property it's not mine so you're free to but i would upload it when the Holy Spirit permits me to upload and if you are connected to me on my profile wall you would see it displayed on the profile wall or you will see it displayed on the on the um, on the mountain on the page okay so if you're watching outside for example facebook and you want to be part of the live broadcast all you need to do is come to the facebook and type at jumbo isong which is at j-u-m-b-o-i-s-o-n-g as word word and if you do that the name of the mountain will come up which is missionary 
Mount, missionary outreach mountain of PPP. That is prayer, preaching, and praise. And so as you click on that, try and follow and like the page. You now know whenever we are online. You can also follow my profile wall, which is Jumbo Isong in bracket Uyuata. If you do that, you'll be able to know whenever we are online. Okay? I probably might not really feel like leaving, but I have to leave now. But I'm not leaving you because I'm leaving you in the hands of the Holy Spirit and that's where I am also. So we're still connected in the Spirit. You need to be a bit careful. People are using the name of men of God online wrongly. So if you wanted to discuss with us, should the Lord lead you somehow to be part of what is going on on this mountain, then you want to use the number plus four four seven four three six one five seven six zero four. Plus four four seven four three six one five seven six zero four. These two numbers are active on PayPal. They are also active on Cash App. So if the Lord is leading you, please, if you wanted to even drop a message on WhatsApp, because it's also active on WhatsApp, please do so and we can pray about it and the Lord will lead us. Until then, I want to appreciate everyone with all humility. I want to say God bless you. I love you. My name is Apostle Jumbo Isong. Permit me to sign out my usual way. God punch the devil. Punch, punch, punish. The Lord rebuke the devil. Rebuke, rebuke, rebuke in Jesus' name. You can save the video so that you come back to it. Some people told me, Apostle, I come back to the broadcast because I find it very refreshing. God bless you. Thank you for sharing with me. If you didn't share, I wouldn't know anyway. But I know God is blessing people and God will continue to use us. The Lord honor you. I'm signing out now. God bless you. Shalom. Bye-bye. God bless you.